to do now is my Santa Claus is all cut out I'm going to get ready to decorate him but before I do that I want to make him a hat and um, I don't want to purchase it I went to Dollar Tree and I'm tired of spending money on things that I, I, I think that I can make so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some of this red felt that I have here um, one of these Dollar Tree bowls that I cut in half right I cut it in half and I'm going to make two hats because I'm going to make a, a Mrs. Claus. I might not need the other half. I'm not sure if I'm going to put a hat on her, but I'm definitely going to put a hat on Santa Claus. Um, I have the, this um, scarf here from Dollar Tree. I might make this um, the, the bowl on his hat. I'm not sure, but the first thing I want to do is I want to wrap this here because um, like I said, I want to start his hat. That's the first thing I want to do. You guys are going to come along with me and we're going to do that right now. Craft on. And I'm going to spray it just. Should have wiped it down with alcohol. Just make sure you, you wipe it down with alcohol, guys. You get a better heave if it's clean. So what I usually do is I usually wait a minute or so for it to, you know, gone. And this worked really good on um, on um, plastic, cardboard. I used it on cardboard and I was really surprised how well it worked. Now, this hat is going to go up against, um, since um, Santa is made out of foam board, um, cardboard. It's the night before Christmas Day. Now, look how cute that looks. That is really, really cute. This thing adheres so quickly. It's like you got to move very quickly when it comes to this here so all I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna tuck it and um and then all I'm gonna do is tuck just like this just hold it a couple of minutes You guys can see. Hopefully you guys can see that. But yeah. I'm gonna spray a little bit on this side here. And we're just gonna tuck it in just like that. I think I'm just going to use one. Um, maybe I'll just have Santa with a hat. I didn't know what else to um, use to make the hat. I was on Pinterest and I didn't feel like cutting out and pulling out the machine, um, the Cricut machine. So I said, you know what? Let's find another way. Show you what I was thinking. Let me move some of this thing. 
Maybe do something crazy like this. I don't know. And then have his hat going over like this here. What do you guys think? That'll work, right? That'll work. Just like that. Again, this is Dollar Tree scarves. You could literally go around there and they have so many of them. My, my daughter said, you have to stop picking up these scarves, mom. But she don't know, I can use, I don't even have to use it just for Christmas. I can use it for other projects. And that's what I try to tell her. This Once I cut this in half, it opens up into a large amount of material for me. And I'm going to take a piece of this here. I can use um, the dust mops. So can you guys see that? Let me see. Because I, like I said, I'm taping from a direction that I usually don't take from. So this is going to be, this is all new to me. So again, this is going to be our Santa hat. I'm going to cut a piece of this off here. And I think this is going to work for a hat. I really do. Um, again, you guys can purchase your hats. I had this material every year. I buy some stuff from Dollar Tree. And if I don't use it all that year, I keep it for the following year. So this is something that I kept for the following year. And um, I'm definitely going to use that. Why not? So we're just going to do something like this here. And that'll be a cute hat. You have to be careful. One thing about using this dust map, as you can see, it will make a whole mess. But it'll look so much, it'll look so much, it'll look beautiful. It really, it's really going to look beautiful around. It's definitely going to bring this out. Hey guys, while I got you here, can you please hit that, um, that like button for me? I would appreciate it. All that would do is help, um, YouTube push my videos out, um, a little bit more. And I would really, really appreciate that. Okay, so something just like this here. And look, Santa has his own hat now, which is cool. And we're definitely going to... Oh, I don't want to get that all messed up. Okay, so we're going to work on this side. So now that Santa has his hat, I'm just going to spray this down a little bit to keep it in place. Just like this here. And that's what we have. This will be my Santa hat. And you guys seen how easy that was to make, how easy it was to save money, how easy it was to reuse the things that you have already from the year before again we're trying to use all of the stuff that we have um for the past couple of years so that's what i'm doing it's so easy to um want to to go buy it you know to save me time and all of that but um this is a perfect way for me so guys i'm going to move on i have my santa hat that's what i needed i'm going to clean it off and you know do a little touch up here and there but it don't need too much. And we're going to move on. We're definitely going to move on. So this is our Santa hat. You can make this for any project that you're doing, especially for Christmas. Or you can just make a couple of these and just sit them on the wall. Or it stands up on its own, which is another good thing. Okay, guys. So like I said, I have two Santas that I have to do. So what I need is I could have painted this cardboard box here. It's a cardboard box. This is um something I received uh, from Amazon. And I, I try to save my Amazon boxes, especially if they're thick and sturdy like this. So my Santa, I'm not painting. So I took a piece of cardboard that I had. Um, uh, not cardboard. Um, uh, what is it called? Oh, boy. 
it'll come to me. But anyway, we're gonna take that and we're gonna just spray it down and we're gonna adhere it to the, um, the cardboard. And that's gonna be a way where is I don't have to paint anything. I don't have to use any paint. I'll just use, this was some poster board that I, that's what it is. Some poster board that I, I, I um, picked up along the way home. And I decided, you know what, I'm gonna keep those because I'm gonna use those for, for um, Christmas. So I had them for a couple of months. So this is what I'm gonna use. I'm not going to paint anything. If I paint anything, it's gonna be some buttons, but I'm not even sure of that. So let's continue. I'm going to get the other two pieces. Uh, our Santa. So I already know I'm going to make this her because this head is much smaller. The other Santa um, is going to be a little bit bigger than um, uh, than the other. So make sure this one fits here. Okay, so that one should fit. I have a couple of pieces here. So I know this is for the smaller one. So this is for the size here. Yeah. So I'm just trying to size up because I don't want to use one that does, you know, I'll get stuck and it's not the right one. But again, it's three pieces to each Santa. Okay, and so we need that small one. And if I can, I'm going to try to put it together with you guys. I'm thinking um, at least the body. So again, I'm going to take this one here, do the same thing. Just spray it, right? Just spray it down with this bond here. And um, put it in place. And this is my way of making my Santa the size that I want, right? I could have went and purchased. Again, you can go purchase any and everything that you like. I chose to um, just, I just wanted to make my things this year. Every year I try to save money because I spend money in so many other things. So I try to use whatever I have in my home to, um, you know, make some things. And, it, and this is something that I chose. So, again, this is my Santa, right? That's his hat right there. And this is where we're going with this here. So, when I get a chance, I'll put my glue gun and glue this in place. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to try this. So, that'll be Santa hat. And I'm going to put it right above the 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 rim of this circle here we'll put his eyes and his nose and this one here will be done but let's continue okay guys so what i decided was what you see in front of you that's what i have i'm going to draw his nose out and i'll bring you guys in for that and by the way you guys are gonna have to come back when i do my christmas um, boxes, um, my Christmas gift boxes, um, out of cardboard boxes also. Um, it's going to go with this theme here. And I was thinking of coloring their nose, but I was trying to figure out, do you guys think that these eyes are too small or is it big enough? Because I don't know, I'm seeing small. And I don't want his um his well I think the eyes matter of fact I'm gonna leave the eyes because I think it look cute actually. So I'm going I'm trying to figure out a way to do the mouth now. Um nothing 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 big, just so he can have a mouth. So I'm gonna take this uh roll right here and I'm just gonna trace it out. Um just like this. Hopefully, I'll get it. I think that's even. If it's not, then we just. Oh, perfect. Look at that. That's where we go. Now he's coming together. Now he's looking like Santa. I'm going to paint his nose red with some um, 
with some paint. No, some crayons. I have some crayons. Let me do that with you guys. You know, I try to I try to make the video as quick as possible, but I know there's some of you guys who would like to see how it's, you know, it's made. So let me just get um, a marker. We're, we're gonna use these markers here just to color in the nose, red, deep red, like that. And that's, and that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. So I'm going to color in, and by then I, will, I might need to use a deeper red. This, this says deep red, but it looks like an orange to me. So we're just gonna color it in. I might have to find another red to go over it. But that's okay. I'll color it in. No, I think we'll leave it like that. It's cute. I think if I color it in one more time, it'll work. But that's 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 where we're going right there. I think that's cute. Now he's starting to look like a Santa Claus. Again, I use these uh, eyeballs here. I purchased these from Timu. You get a whole shalada of them. So that's what we're using. So I'm gonna put the eyes down. The glue gun should be ready. I'm gonna put the eyes. One dab of glue. Yep, I have to go back over that. Okay, just like that. And then I'm gonna put the body down. I'm also going to take a red pen and just go around this part here so you won't see the cardboard. But this is what we got here, guys. And so, as far as his body's concerned, I'm going to pick it up just a little bit and put the glue where I want it. And that'll keep him. I think his hat has a little lean to it, but you know what? That's a lean in Santa Claus. Okay. So we're gonna give this a minute to dry. And I keep I always tell myself, when you use glue, just just take your time. I always feel that I have to rush to get it down, and this is why this hat start up here and this one ends here, because me rushing. And I decided to look at this Santa Claus here to see where I want to go. This one was purchased at Dollar Tree. I just might put a black belt around with this here. I'm not thinking all I need is a, a, a little piece of um, cardstock and strips. That's about it. So I might just do that. All right, guys, we can, we can do that. I seem to need to be Jack C. Okay, so he should be a heave here. So I'm going to move you guys down a little bit. And my, my, my Christmas presents is going to be wrapped with, these are the, the boxes that we're going to use. So we're going to wrap it with Christmas wrapping paper. And then we're going to take some, um, some ribbon. I'm deciding whether I'm going to use this or I'm going to use this to, you know, make it, make it look jazzy with a little bow. And all of that will be in the hallway. Oh, Santa, you look kind of handsome over there. So I'm going to bring you guys down right here so you can see me put this part here together. And I'm not going to... After this, this video is going to be done because, like I said, I don't want it too long. But I will bring you back or show you pictures. I'm going to color his nose one more time. 
but I will show you pictures of the finished product. Again, I think I'm gonna wrap a belt around him. I'm trying to think of should I let him go under. Yeah, we're gonna do under. We're gonna do under, just like this here. We're gonna do under. Put down as much glue as you want. Hold it in place. For now, I'm, this is what I got for you guys here. This is my Santa. Um, I will take a picture of him um, standing up on the wall after I clean him up, because I do need to take some of this off of here. I just need to do a little cleaning up, but yeah, we might, we're gonna put, even, we're even gonna put, um, I'm thinking about putting a scarf on his neck or on Mrs. Claw's neck. So we're, I'm not sure what we're gonna do with this here, whether it's for him or her. I don't wanna use two, because I need to use some to decorate my bathroom, and I'll show you guys that. In a minute so this is dry so i'm going to just briefly show you that's the bottom and that's our santa measurements i will give you in one minute so i'm going to let you focus on santa face right here we're going to paint that nose one more time he's pretty tall so let's get the measurements out and see just how tall he is this santa is 43 inches, which is fine. This guy is tall, but you guys will definitely see how tall he is when we hang him up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do Miss Claus, but I'm gonna do her off camera. We're just gonna do her the same way we did him. No different. Um, she's gonna have the same. We might just not put a hat on her head. I'm thinking no hat for her, but we'll see. But she's basically gonna be done the same way. So I don't wanna hold you guys up to see that. So guys, my name is Rosalind. Thank you so much. At the end of this video, you will see the finished product of both, both of my Stantas. So stay tuned. And again, guys, if you like what you saw here today, please hit the subscribe button. I really need you guys to hit that subscribe button because that tells YouTube that you, you know, to push out my videos and that's what we're going for here. So if I don't see you guys or talk to you guys, um, uh, have a great Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is two days from here. If you celebrate the holidays or Thanksgiving, please enjoy yourself and be safe.